everybody and welcome to our channel Frugal Queen in France which is all about money saving and frugality and living a thrifty life here in our home in France. If you're here for the first time, welcome. I'm Jane, my husband Mike is behind the camera and every Sunday we open our lives and share a little vignette with you of the things that we've been up to. So let's take a look at what we've been doing this week. Now, if you're new to my channel, you may not know this, but when we took on this garden in the beginning of 2019, it wasn't a garden and it had never been a garden. It was the remnants of a quarry from the 1960s and then up to the 1980s, it was a sawmill with a wood yard. And after the 1980s, it was just left to go rampant. And uh, we've been bringing this garden back to life. So this week is about more about the garden and this time battles with our boundary, which is the river, and also upcycling some garden furniture. Because what we're trying to do with our garden is create little areas and little rooms and little places to sort of sit and try and get out of the sun in the summer. So without further ado, let's take a look at what we've done this week. Well, here's my plan for today. You can see all of this weed in the river and if I let this weed grow it will grow to about six feet high so I need to cut down as much as I can and it will need doing two or three times over the summer it gets easier when the river is shallower and it gets shallower as the summer progresses but that's what I'm going to do. I also need to tidy up some of those tree branches if I can reach them I can't see from here but that's the plan. I am out of breath. What a to do. Okay, uh, all in the river, literally hanging in the river, were all of these willow branches of a tree that's nearly fallen down the other side. And I'm puffing because I've been sawing. I don't use a chainsaw. I have neither the skills nor the nerves. I've had to cut down all of these branches, all of these branches. And there's some big ones as well that I will, I have to walk them up the river to a shallow part and drag them out and it's doing that thing that I really didn't want it to do it's just got extremely hot but I'm going to carry on what I'll do now is I'll probably show you when I've finished it all <laughs> As promised I told you I would show you what I've done when I've done it and you can see here there back in shot you can see there we've got a willow tree completely 
in the river and we're in the process of cutting it up I'm um, doing it and uh, Mike's helping me as well and then we are dragging the branches into the woods so that's what we're doing and I cleared out all the river here I'm going to pan around slowly all the river here and as you can see here it is literally just a couple of inches deep all the way around here and all the way around the corner and my next job is to follow the river round and clean that out as well and so that's what I've done it's an ongoing battle with these weeds they grow really quickly really really quickly but we do have to keep the river clean it's part of our job and I'm in the process of doing it and it'll all be done soon Well, that was my table and chairs. We bought them last year from Facebook Marketplace from people selling them locally. We got really good wear out of them last year. We put them down by the river. We had our lunch on them so many times. And this year, because they had dried out in the sun, I decided I want to give them a bit of a freshen up. So I had a route around our basement. I knew I had some garden furniture paint in there that I bought years ago when I lived back in the UK. And that's exactly what I've did. I've given everything three coats of garden furniture paint. And I think I've freshened it up quite well. And we'll get another couple of seasons out of it. <laughs> We've had a great week we really hope that you've had a great week too and it hasn't involved spending any money or breaking the bank in any way whatsoever if you've enjoyed the video go on give it a like it really helps grow the channel because it helps with the algorithm now we love your comments tell us what are you up to in your garden at the moment how are you preparing for summer are you battling with the weeds like we are now, if you're not a subscriber, and I know half of you watching are not, come on, join the frugal family. Just leaves me to say, on behalf of Mike and I, thanks so much. We'll see you again soon. Bye for now.